Yeah, we were talking about Ho'oponopono and uh, Dr. Hugh Lin. He's a, uh, he's was a ha Hawaiian um, psychologist, psychiatrist who, who used this method of, of cleaning and clearing his mind with, what is it, Helena was saying the four things that he says. I love you, please forgive me, and thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. He uses four, those four little things to clean and clear his consciousness. It's a method of taking 100% responsibility for your perception. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then I would say, like if I would talk to Aiden, he would say like, well that's just uh, words, if you don't, or I don't know if you would, but <laughs> I think like that's what I heard. that. He'd get the stick out. Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> When I listen to some audio tape with Gary Renard, he does this thing like, uh, when you see somebody that you want to forgive, the action you see, or the perception you have of something happening, he would say like, uh, you are Christ, pure and innocent, uh, pure and innocent, like, and I release you to the Holy Spirit, I forgive you and I release you. And I didn't would say like, well then you haven't done anything, then that's just words. So you don't clear anything because that's just words, you have to go back into the mind and change your mind from separation to oneness. Oh, and I don't know about that. Like I can see, yeah. Well, that's good. This is a great question. If we if we start to look at the chart again, where on the chart are words? Are are words in the core? No. Desire. Are words in belief? No. Thoughts. No. Emotions. Ah, there they are. There. They're out on the screen. Yeah. They make a sound when you when you speak them. Uh, in fact, if you if you could never speak the words, how would they be words? <laughs> they would be thoughts. <laughs> if, if I say red, you all go red. What's the what's the Swedish word for red? Red. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, so you see, so you see, but but a word is 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 spoken or what or written, like here's a word, but where is it? It's on the screen. It's not there. So here we have a bit. So now that's your question. It's like okay, I'm saying words. Now let's look at things like mantras. Yeah. The magic mantra that will bring you enlightenment. Okay, no, let's go more than the mantra. Let's go to the, the diksha. Now we're diksha. Why would you go through all of these beliefs and all of this process of going inward if you could simply have diksha? The diksha. It's very popular. It's well, it's very popular. <laughs> Extremely popular. Yeah. Why? Quick fix. Shortcut. 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 <laughs> so you see, it doesn't matter if it's the Diksha, it's the Darshan. The Sutras. I, one time I was traveling one time and somebody touched the hem of my sweater and they went, Oh, the Shakti. The Shakti. It's like my toes. <laughs> We don't care if it's, we're talking about the Diksha, or the words, or the Shakti. Papaji. Or the, yes, Papaji, Papaji, or the Darshan. It's all the same. We have to start to see that, that what, what did we talk about today? The secret. Is it, is, where does the change come? Does the change come at the core, or out on the screen? You see? So what Aydin's saying is, is the words themselves would be meaningless unless they're spoken, unless they come from yeah. up here. If they come from the alignment, mm -hmm. if you're in line with God and you're feeling enraptured in joy and bliss, and you go, Yahoo! <laughs> or you go, Wowee! Or whatever, like, uh, Agneta is good with that. She's like, Ooh! She's like, with both arms in the air. Yo! 
<laughs> if, if it's coming from, from joy, then the words are an expression of that yeah. joy. But if it's done as a way of a formula, it can, at the beginning of mind training, uh, Jesus did this with Bill Thetford. Bill's mind was so scattered, and he didn't know what to pray. He didn't know what to say. He didn't know what to do. You know, he was asking the how question. How? How, how, how? And Jesus told Bill through Helen, here's a prayer for you, Bill. Here I am, Lord. He gave him those four words to stabilize his mind, kind of to bring it back into alignment. Because he didn't, no, it was almost like a mantra. He, Jesus gave Bill like a little mantra, a prayer, words. But you see, when the mind's not trained, words can help stabilize it. Or I used to meditate to music all the time. I love yeah. meditating to music. Yeah. It was so much easier. My mind could like soar with the music. Yeah, so the point is that we, we use words on the outer ring to get in. The Holy yeah, Spirit. Yeah, yeah. If the yeah. Holy Spirit is using them, then it's yeah. good. If the ego is using them, it can use all these cliches like, there is no world. Mm. I mean, I knew people years ago who used to go around and like beat people over the head with this. There is no world, dummy. I mean, they would actually, really, these were the Course in Miracles students. <laughs> and, and, or going in, go to visit somebody in the hospital who's in traction. You know, their full legs in a cast like Dan Millman, and bang on the cast. Why did you choose this? You know, this is, this is what I would say the ego's use of Course in Miracles words. Is it kind? Is it loving? Not even close. I went to places where they would, they would confront in people's faces. There is no world. You're not here. Da 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 da. And what what I would do is, they, when I went to the place to visit, I would say, they would ask me, and I say, well, there's a line from the course that they should tack up in front of every, on top of every door. What was the line from the course? I told them, a good teacher never terrorizes his students. <laughs> That's what they should put on top of every door. Because it's the gentle way, the joy that teaches. It's not using, the ego can even use Course in Miracles words for its purposes. It can use anything out here. And it will try to use everything out here. So really, you know, what did Jesus say 2,000 years ago? He said, you shall know them by their fruits, by their beatitudes, by how, how their attitude is. If they're light, joyful, loving, happy, yeah, that's something that you can, you can resonate with. You can say, ah, oh, that inspires me. And the other stuff you just forgive. You just say, I need to let go of this. So I think you actually can come to some really good, I mean, this is a very helpful thing. Some people will come up with their own uh, words from this that feels, resonates with them. Or maybe even a song. You have all this great rest of songs. Maybe you sing yourself yeah. when you have a temptation arise or you have a doubt thought. You, you use beautiful songs. But you know, you can, you, you can trust that you have the answer in you and that it can come in a way that is helpful for you. And it doesn't have to be like a cookie cutter approach where, you know, I do it because everyone else does it or even doing the course, a lot of people will do it. Everybody does the same workbook lesson on the same day of the year. Like in January 1st, everybody <laughs> opens the book, a bunch of robots, and they all do number one. What lesson are you on? One, of course, it's January 1st. You know, now that if, that, if that helps you, you know, if you're, if you're doing it, and let's say you, you like meeting with your course friends, and you're all doing the same lesson, and, you, and it helps you, then that's great, if that's your guidance. But you shouldn't feel guilty if everybody else is doing it that way, and you think, no, I'm going to start on April 1st, April Fool's Day. <laughs> and, and do, you know, it, you, you have to follow your guidance, and not try to conform, you know, to the world.